let us begin with the very first step that is glycolysis glycolysis means breaking down of glucose molecule because glyco word is associated with glucose and lysis means breaking so breaking down of glucose molecule so as to release energy so that is glycolysis that is the very first step and what we are learning here is the breaking down of the glucose molecule it involves this uh, process of glycolysis involves a very long series of chemical reactions but here we are going to study only some important steps of glycolysis the very first step we find process of glycolysis occurs in cytoplasm so this is very important where is glycolysis taking place it's going to take place in the cytoplasm part of the cell a molecule of glucose is oxidized step by step in this process so here we find that the molecule of glucose which has got formula c6h12o6 gets oxidized that that is it is undergoing burning that is oxidation in presence of oxygen that we have inhaled and it has reached the cells and in presence of this oxygen the glucose molecule is getting oxidized step by step so what what are the various products that are obtained on the oxidation so the very first uh, product that we are obtaining is two molecules of pyruvic acid pyruvic acid is also called as pyruvate so pyruvic acid or pyruvate is obtained how many molecules two molecules and it's going to be a three carbon compound so now you had a six carbon compound that is glucose now which has been converted into a three carbon compound but how many molecules have you got so two molecules of uh, pyruvic acid which is a three carbon compound is obtained this is the formula of pyruvic acid this is just for your information you need not learn this this is ch3 co cooh the functional group is cooh which is a carboxylic acid group and uh, it's going to be a organic acid pyruvic acid is an organic acid along with this we are getting two atp molecules that is the energy molecules energy rich molecules that is adenosine tri phosphate is obtained how many molecules two molecules we get two molecules of nadh2 nadh2 information is given here that is nicotina amide adenine dinucleotide so two molecules of nadh2 are obtained now what is this nadh2 it is a enzyme so that is going to be formed inside the cells and it is going to be used for the cellular respiration so nadh2 is formed two molecules are to be obtained uh, this is just another additional information initially it is in the form of nad plus nicotina amide adenine dinucleotide is actually in the form of nad plus but during glycolysis it gains two electrons and hydrogen and it gets converted to nadh2 so this is nothing but this is reduction that is gain of electrons or addition of hydrogen so here you can see that there is no hydrogen but here there is hydrogen and addition of hydrogen is called as reduction and it even gains electrons and gain of electrons is also reduction along with this you get two molecules of water also so this is uh, what is the first step in glycolysis in the next step what happens in the next step the molecules of pyruvic acid now here we had got two molecules of pyruvic acid now what happens to those two molecules formed in this process are converted into molecules of acetyl coenzyme a so you are getting a coenzyme which are also helpful in bringing about the cellular respiration so pyruvic acid is getting converted into acetyl coenzyme a and this acetyl coenzyme a is a two carbon compound along with this we are getting two molecules again of nad h2 that is again you will be finding that nad plus is getting converted to nad 
H2 and that is by gaining electrons and hydrogen. Along with this, we are getting two molecules of carbon dioxide, which is a waste product, are released during this process. So this is what is happening during glycolysis. <clears throat> Though we are studying energy releasing uh, process, cellular respiration is a process in which we find that energy is going to be released. But we find that during this process of glycolysis, two ATP molecules are utilized and uh, hence this is also called as an investment phase. Uh, but overall we get two ATP molecules. Total four we are getting but since two are utilized for glycolysis we count only two ATP molecules. So this is the first step that is glycolysis. I hope you have understood it. Uh, the key points are that this takes place in the cytoplasm and during this process the glucose molecule is converted into two molecules of pyruvic acid along with it we get two ATP and two NADH2 and two water molecules. Further the oxidation of the pyruvic acid takes place and it gets converted into acetyl coenzyme A along with the release of two molecules of NADH2 and two molecules of carbon dioxide. Apart from that, we will even come across FADH2 in the next uh, slide. So FADH2 is flavin adenine dinucleotide. So that is uh, again an enzyme that is present in the cells and it helps in the process of cellular respiration. Uh, we will be learning more about uh, NADH2 and FADH2 when we study vitamins and there we will know more about them. Let's go on to the next slide. 